Now, all of these seem difficult. Indeed, to some, they may seem unimaginable. And yet, if you look in the history of our country, imagine it's 1775, and you and I were sitting there in Richmond listening to Patrick Henry say, give me liberty or give me death. Imagine it's 1776 and we were watching the 54 signers of the Declaration of Independence stand together and pledge their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor to igniting the promise of America. Imagine it was 1777 and we were watching General Washington as he lost battle after battle after battle in the freezing cold as his soldiers with no shoes were dying fighting for freedom against the most powerful army in the world that too seemed unimaginable imagine it's 1933 and we were listening to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt tell America at a time of crushing de depression, at a time of a gathering storm abroad, that we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Imagine it's 1979, and you and I were listening to Ronald Reagan. And he was telling us that we would cut the top marginal tax rate from 70% all the way down to 28%. That we would go from crushing stagnation to booming economic growth to millions being lifted out of poverty and into prosperity and abundance. That the very day he was sworn in, our hostages who were languishing in Iran would be released and that within a decade we would win the Cold War and tear the Berlin Wall to the ground that would have seemed unimaginable and yet with the grace of God that's exactly what happened From the dawn of this country, at every stage, America has enjoyed God's providential blessing. Over and over again, when we faced impossible odds, the American people rose to the challenge. You know, compared to that, repealing Obamacare and abolishing the IRS ain't all that tough. The power of the American people when we rise up and stand for liberty knows no 